really tough and they're ha ah, and they're like bend over spread them and like we literally we all 20 of us bend over all butt naked and we spread okay and then they yell wider and they're like walking and they're yelling in your face while you're bending over and then you got four other ones that are looking at you from the back basically i mean good morning my lovelies my beauties my friends my name is christina and welcome to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on this video i really hope that you will subscribe stick around take a chance on hearing some things that i have to say and if you are a returning subscriber y'all already know y'all are my babies so we just gonna sit here and act like we're gonna sit here and pretend like we didn't just hit 22K. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. Like, guys, I could barely sleep last night. I was so excited. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I got a little emotional, but y'all know that's how I roll. I just am so grateful to y'all. I mean, I know some of y'all are sitting here watching this girl going, girl, it's 22K. It's not like it's a million or anything, but you guys don't understand. This means a lot to me. You supporting me, like, I'm, gonna try, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go there because I'll be, <laughs> y'all know how I am. But like, it means so much. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Matter of fact, if you're not following me on the gram, why don't you follow me on the gram? <laughs> this is a video of me yesterday there. Babe, babe, love me. I just did 20K. Love me. Give me all the attention. I'm obviously famous now. <laughs> Everybody needs my autograph and I need a limo going everywhere. I was a hot mess, but y'all know I'm extra anyway, so <laughs> whatever. So today we've got a really fun and exciting video. A few of you guys have requested this and I've worked hard on it, okay? All day yesterday, I was watching Orange is the New Black, pulling videos, like writing things down. Like this, this video has taken some work, so I'm excited to do it for you. I hope that you like it. Please don't forget to like the video. It is a free way that you can help you out. Help me, I'm poor. Help me out, I need all the help I can get. Today, we are going to be comparing Orange is the New Black to actual women's prison. I actually had a hard time watching Orange is the New Black because I would, li I listen, I'm so glad you guys wanted me to do this because when I used to watch it with my husband, I haven't watched it in years. When I used to watch it with him, I would literally be like, uh-uh, uh, pause it, pause it. See that right there? Uh-uh, that don't really go on like that. Or I'd be like, ooh, that really does happen. So now I actually get to do that with y'all and yeah, it's exciting. And if you want me to do a second or third or fourth part to this, if you like this style video or if you like this, let me know in the comment section down below because there is so much to this show that I could go on and on and on. But we'll just start with this one, okay? All right, let's jump into this scene right here. Do I even gotta say it? Do I even gotta say it? Y'all know dang good and well that the guards are not out there doing that little jig and that dance. I wish they was, cause it was kinda cute the way they was doing it, okay? It's my, mm, it's my, mm. <laughs> but no. Definitely not. Definitely not. All right, let's get to the next scene. Spread your cheeks and cough. Seriously? Y'all, I literally wish that that's the way the squat and cough goes in there. I, that would be literally a dream come true. If you haven't watched my prison story video, then you may not know. When I tell y'all the way that they make it, that is, that is nothing. That is a, a cake walk, okay? When I tell you the way that they make you squat and cough, when you're going into prison, okay, not jail because it's different. And I do plan on doing a video for you guys comparing jail to prison. But just starting here, they make you, okay, you all go into this room and it's a cement walled room, okay? The door is open, there's people walking by, there's literally, it's not even a private thing. They had her in a private area and it was just one guard. You imagine 20 women lined up, 20 of us, okay? 
all but naked. I want you to literally imagine in your mind women of all different shapes, sizes, ethnicities, like it's, you know, you know, older women. You know, you've got women that are going into prison that have done something wrong in their older years. They're 70 years old. You know what I'm saying? So you've got like older women. So I want you to get this image in your mind. All different ages, all different looks, everything, okay? We're all standing there butt naked. Can't cover up nothing. You can't do nothing, okay? You got about four guards. So you've got these women that are good, you know, 300 pounds. Like these are, these are women that are like, rah, and they put those women there, I think, to scare us. Like they, they do that on purpose, right? These bigger women, they're really, really tough and they're ha, and they're like, bend over, spread them. And like, we literally, we all 20 of us bend over, all butt naked and we spread, okay? And then they yell wider and they're like walking and they're yelling in your face while you're bending over. And then you got four other ones that are looking at you from the back basically. And they're like wider and you literally spread wider. Now, when I tell you what they're wanting from you is literally for you, this is graphic, but I'm gonna tell you guys, they're wanting you to take your inner lady parts, your bits, okay? Your fingers in there and spread it open. Literally your butt cheeks could wrap around the front. They want you to spread it so bad. And then they yell wider and you're literally like, I literally remember like I'm hurting myself. Like I am hurting myself. And they want, they want to see up in there, y'all. They, they trying to guide, they trying to be your gyno right now, okay? They're trying to see your uterus. They're trying to see your, your ovaries. They're trying to see everything. They want to look up in there, okay? So that little squat and cough. <coughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's go to the next scene. Ask that. You read that? What, you studied for prison? All right, so you see them all standing there, okay? You are allowed a, when you're in prison, you can have somebody send you in and it has to get it has to get approved through the warden. It's not like it can just come in through the mail and then you get your jewelry. You're allowed one necklace that has a cross on it, a very small cross, no diamonds, no nothing like that. So they, you are allowed that, okay? If you're married, you are allowed a wedding band. You couldn't have like diamonds or anything like this, but you could have a wedding band if you are married. The headphones, after you're there for a while, you can purchase a little like boom box headphones things off of the commissary it's very expensive if I, if I remember correctly I could be wrong I want to say it's like around $40 and it's just like a little tiny Sony headphone and it takes you forever to get it you don't just go to the canteen and buy it you have to like order it through them and it's their specific thing and it's like a little Sony thing with like the little dial you know so you're trying to get that station you're trying to get that sweet spot it's like and depending on where you are on the compound, you're not getting a good signal and you can barely hear it, but you can get that eventually. I think I had one my last like year there and it took me that long to get it. Something that you could get at the dollar store for $3, they charge you an arm and a leg in there, honey. And then also, did you see all the stuff that was like hanging on the walls? They had like socks hanging on coat hangers and stuff like that. You're not allowed to hang anything like that. And like if you wash your clothes, which is what looks like they did here, is they wash their own clothes instead of sending it through the wash, which is nasty, nasty. Can you imagine putting your clothes in a bag, okay, and sending it off to be washed in the same water as everybody else, okay? Everybody else is getting their clothes washed in that same water. Some people got infections. Some people have staph infections, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that too, about how the staph infections go around in prison. It's awful. Another video, another video. Staph infections, all kind of diseases, all kind of liquids and stuff coming out of their body, you know, menstrual times, all in their clothes. And then putting it in, so you really want to wash your own clothes in the sink. But then you have to hang it up on the end of your bed and only certain times of the day, they're very strict about it, okay? So how they got all their stuff hanging all over the place, making their self at home, no ma'am. Even if you get a picture of your kid, if you have a bunk that's by the wall, you cannot like tape it up or hang it up on the wall. Nothing can be hung anywhere. So, <laughs> no. Let's get to the next one. It was like God put them in you every day. The summer breeze coming over here. Yeah, always smell it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, what did you do? She's also the food in front of red. This, my friends, the tampon and the food, I would love to say that that doesn't happen. 
that does happen. I'm not saying necessarily in the food, but women have been known to, it's disgusting, take dirty tampons and put them in people's stuff. Put it in their pillow. I've seen it happen where they put it in the pillow under the pillowcase. So somebody comes at nighttime, crawls in their bed, lays their head down on it, and they don't realize it until they start smelling it. So disgusting. Sneaking it in their stuff or whatever. I, I, I just never can imagine. That is like gross on another degree. But women will do it. And sometimes women with infections like HIV and stuff like that will do that. Um, not all of them, and, and I want to remind y'all that there are some amazing people whether in, in prison, whether you can believe it or not. There are people that made a wrong decision, one wrong decision. Or there are people that got caught up or maybe fell in love with a guy that started embezzling money. or You know what I'm saying? Like, And they got caught up in that situation. It happens all the time. But there's also a huge percentage of people that are not nice people in there. And that is the majority of, of women and men that are in prison is the not so nice people. All right, let's get to the next scene. It's plastic toothbrush with a razor blade melted right into it. Razor blades, all right, let's talk about this. You can shave your legs in there. I have been asked about this, but what happens is at nighttime, you have to go up to the guard station, you have to check out your razor blade to shave your legs, you go straight into the shower, and then you take your razor blade back. So they're all accounted for, supposed to be accounted for, all accounted for, and they're watching you every single night. And when they get your razor blade back, the first thing they do is check to make sure it's in there. And let me tell you, y'all, you know what kind of razor it is? It's like those orange bic that have one little blade in it. Those things do not cut for nothing. You will eat your legs up trying to get the hair off of them, especially if you're anything like me, y'all. I'm Greek, so when my hair grows, it's like, poof, it's like a woolly mammoth, okay? So me trying to shave my legs with that little bitty razor was like a whole entire chore. Anyways, so they're gonna count, or, you know, or look at it and make sure that your blade is still in there. Now, do people still get away with things? Of course. You're in a compound full of people that are used to scheming and scheming and getting away with things. And because the guards have certain types of relationships with the inmates, sometimes uh, they can get them out of there and they do. Some women will have razor blades. They carry them. They carry them in their mouth. Da, 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 da. So yes, razor blades is a real thing in there. The only thing that's not a real thing as I was telling you all about is like, uh, sawing a toothbrush into a shank. I've never seen that there, but I have seen razor blades, the locks and socks, the soap bars and uh, socks and the mayonnaise being cooked, all that types of stuff. Let's move on to the next one. Piper. And you are? Uh, Sue. Oh, it's short for Susie, which is short for Suzanne. <laughs> and you like spicy food? Sometimes. Oh, one of my girlfriends, she was Mexican. Real talk. <laughs> uh, she gone now, but... She left these. I have nothing to trade you for this. It's good to know you ain't alone. Okay, so you see how she came and gave the peppers to her? This is something, if you were going in there, which I know none of y'all are, y'all are all good angels and I love y'all so much, y'all are my babies and you would never do nothing wrong. Never, ever, ever. But if you're going in there and somebody just walks up to you and starts trying to give you something, especially something like that, which is considered contraband that's stolen from the kitchen, you better watch out. People are not doing stuff for free for you just because out of the kindness of their heart. Not often, not unless you, the very least y'all have some sort of friendship or relationship or trust or it's tit for tat. Nobody's just going to come up to you and do something for you just because they want to be nice, especially something like contraband. Because when you get something from the kitchen like that, you can sell that for big money on campus. Like anything that's like considered contraband, that's hard to get or hard to come by, you can take it and triple it or quadruple it in payments from canteen. Prison is full of hustlers. A lot of those peoples were dealers on the streets or stuff like that, so they got the hustler mentality. And just like in this video, she was giving her them peppers, but if y'all know anything about Crazy Eyes, she had some intentions. She's trying to build a relationship, and we'll get into that later. 
Let's get on to the next one. Girls crushing on you and peeking at you in the bathroom and in the toilets and in the showers and anytime they can. Y'all, this happens every day, all the time, and it really does make you feel uncomfortable. When a woman has her mind and her heart set on you, like I've said in other videos, women can be very aggressive. You know, they just can. And we want what we want. And when we want it, and there's nowhere you can go to run away from, we're gonna get it. You know how we are, we're very determined. And I can't tell you how many times I've had girls coming and looking at me in the shower and stuff like that, and it's really uncomfortable, right? Like, I just wanna be in there like scrubbing my butt in peace, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not in there trying to be sexy or have you staring at me. I'm in there trying to get my armpits clean from working on the grounds all day long. But yeah, it happens, guys, that is true facts. All right, let's move on to the next one. Warren just informed me that you'd like to be bunked together. Warren? Who is that? Y'all, this one made me giggle. You cannot just walk into the warden's office like that. The warden or the person that's in charge or even the guard stations. Well, we're going to just talk about the warden first. The warden is like the high up person in there. He's the person in charge. He or she, the, the, one of the most untrue things about Orange is the New Black is how you see them all kind of roaming free. Like they'll walk down the hall or they'll walk into an office to talk or they'll walk into the library. Like it does not work like that. Like you, anytime you move from one area to another, you are being watched at all times. You can't just walk into a doctor's station. You can't just walk into somebody's office and talk to them. I mean, if you want to talk to a guard, this is the way it looks in the prisons, both prisons actually that I was at. The dorm that has all the bunk beds in it that you are in has a guard station at the front of it and it has big glass, bulletproof glass all around it. So they stand in there and they watch you and it's perfectly placed that way they can stand in there in the guard station and watch you both in the showers and they can see the whole entire dorm. It's very open so they can see every spot at all times, okay? And another thing is so annoying, the, the male guards will stand there and watch you in the showers. It's, oh, that's for another video. Anyways, and if you wanna talk to them, you have to go up there and talk to them through the glass. And if you want to talk to them in private, you have to knock and ask for them to come out. And nine times out of 10, they don't want to. What is, what, what is it? What do you want? And they're like yelling and like everybody can hear. And so there is no there, private conversations unless you have some sort of relationship with a guard. Not often are you going to have a, a private conversation. I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but not like it does on Orange is the New Black. All right, let's move on to the next one. Said you were a squirter. I don't. That's. Once it happened once. It took us both by surprise. Wow. I was kidding, but. Okay, so women will lie to you and try to get information out of you like that. They absolutely will come up and tell you they know something or they've heard something, and try to manipulate you and get that's just about on an every single day basis, okay? You have to remember, some of these women have been hustling their whole entire lives on the street. They grew up in a certain lifestyle. Their moms or dads were in a certain type of lifestyle. So that's all they know is hustler mentality. That is a big, huge thing that's in there. There is that percentage of people, like I said, that hasn't really done anything wrong and made that one decision. But for the majority of it, there's a lot of hustlers in there and they want to get your information out of you. They want to get anything they can get out of you. That's what they do. That's what they've always done. That is unfortunately what some of them will always do. So that's something you have to be very, very careful about in there because they're going to try you. All right, let's do the last one for this video. No, I'm from Waynesboro. My name is Tiffany. She knows what your fucking name is. You are not an agent of God, okay? God can do so much better than you. You must know that, right? You know what? Jesus Christ, how the fuck did you survive infancy? My auntie helped my mom. That's a rhetorical question! Do you not understand what a fucking- 
the guards will get all up in your face and yell at you like that. There is nothing you can do about it. I had a few of you, my sweet loving little babies, <laughs> comment on my video about the horror story and say, you know, did you complain about the dentist or anything like, <laughs> you're so precious, I love y'all. There's nothing you can do. I know that you all have seen at some point or time where there's like a news article where somebody mysteriously dies in a county jail or even in a juvenile facility or, a, or somebody ends up dead in a prison and the family wants answers. That is people dying, okay? And 99 times out of 100, nobody gets in trouble. They cover their tracks. The guards have each other's back. They are very shady. I want to reiterate, there is that small percentage of guards that have a good heart, but usually the bad guards will run them right out of the prison because they will bully them too. Yeah, there is no complaining. There's nothing you can really do about it. You're at the mercy of them, and if they curse you out, if they yell at you, if they disrespect you, which some of them do, I told y'all the story about my one of my girlfriends there that had made some videos when she was younger and the guards had looked her up, male guards, you know, there's three or four of them in there and they're like standing around in a circle around her and they're all talking to her about it and talking about her lady bits that they saw and they're laughing at her in her face and there's literally nothing she can do and it's very degrading and it, you know, like... Yes, yeah, she made a decision when she was younger, and but she doesn't deserve that, especially from the guards. Like, they like that kind of stuff. The guards get off on being on a power trip and treating people like that. So yeah, that happens like it just did in this video, but I would say to the like 10th power. All right, my loves, I hope that you liked this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you want to do another, want me to do another one like this. And let me know if you have any requests you need me to add to my list. I love you, I love you, I love you. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.